Hey, good morning. It's January 28th, a Wednesday morning. I'm in my office and uh, just taking a few minutes, I was reflecting about a video on YouTube that I watched last night. It was actually from Big Cat's Rescue. And uh, the guy that was doing the production for the video, basically they find big cats that uh, have been neglected from private pet owners and they rescue them. They take them in, they cage them and feed them and, and uh, give them a, a happy life um, while, they're, while they're in captivity until they can get them to a zoo, transfer them to a zoo somewhere else in America. Uh, but anyway, I was struck by the video because the gentleman who shot it was trying to show that big cats, tigers, panthers, jaguars, lions, they're, they're actually very dangerous by their very nature and, and, and uh, by their instincts. For example, he would walk by a cage and then turn around so his back is to the tiger or panther, wherever it is, it's in the cage, and almost immediately that big cat would start stalking him and then jump towards the bars. <laughs> it was kind of entertaining. But it, it really showed the dangerous nature that a big cat has, that a lion has. Um, later that night I went to bed and I was laying in bed and I was still thinking about the video because it really struck me. And uh, I was reminded that the New Testament describes the devil as being a roaring lion, a prowling lion looking for people to, to devour. So I got up early in the morning, I looked up where that verse was at. It's actually in 1 Peter 5, um, and it talks about how we need to be alert and of sober mind because the devil is wandering around like a prowling lion looking for someone to devour. And then Peter goes on to say, he says, we need to stand firm in the faith, and we also need to resist him, meaning the devil. And as Christians, I uh, sometimes think we can overlook that, that we should stand firm in the faith, that we are not to waver, we are to have strong convictions about what we believe in. Um, because I think that if we have weak convictions, if we don't fully understand what our Bible says or what we believe in, that we will waver and that we can be easy prey for the line that is the devil that is wandering around. Um, looking to devour us. Um, so I think that we can take that and, and take that take that a step further and really just say that we should be biblically grounded. Um, you know, Jesus said that we are to be a, a wise builder on the rock, meaning him. Um, so to all my fellow believers out there that might watch this, all two or three of you, <laughs> I'll just say that, uh, you know, remind yourselves and others around you to stand firm in the faith and encourage other believers uh, to continually read your Bible, uh, to, to memorize Scripture, and just to pray for each other. Um, because there is an adversary out there that, uh, that definitely is looking to, to do us some harm. All right, God bless, and have a great day.